welcome back arc players to a brand new center update now today i have a new announcement to share with you guys to get yourself ready for the launch of the center as it is now only five days away so i'll be sharing that with you guys i'll also be doing a little bit of a roundup of everything you need to be expecting for the launch i cannot wait for the new shasta Sora saddle something we've never seen in game before it's gonna be a lot of fun if you guys do enjoy today's video make sure to smash that like button and subscribe as i will be keeping you guys up to date on everything regarding the center from the time it's dropping all the updates you need to know from the devs so make sure to stick around for that Anyway, enough of that. We're hopping straight in with the announcement and this will be a good start um, if you're looking to begin on the center on day one. So as you can see, um, um, attention Nitrado Partners, which is myself. Are you ready for some epic gaming action? We have an exciting new sale coming up. This is introducing the best alliance in gaming, Steam and Nitrado. Here's how it works. First score some big savings on Steam and then when you're ready to take your multiplayer experience to the next level, head over to Nitrado for even more savings. So now guys, from May 28th until June 3rd, use the link in, my, in the description down below and use code ALLIANCE10. You can save 10% off on all new game servers only. You can do this and get your uh, server ready straight away for day one of the center launching. As I said, I will link it at the top of the description. Uh, this will be ending on June 3rd. So if you want to get percent off, you will need to do it before the day of the launch, which is June 4th. Um, they also go on to say, but wait, there's more. And just in time for the arrival of the center, save up to 20% on Ark Survival Ascended during Steam's Open World Survival Crafting Fest. Afterwards, head over to Nitrado and use the code ALLIANCE10 to save another 10% off your own game server. And obviously, this is what I've done, shared the deal with my community, and uh, you can get Ark Survival Ascended on Steam and your Nitrado game server. So really, really, really looking forward to jumping in to the center. Um, I've got lots of plans as well. Just as a reminder, I do have Ark um, of Survival Ascended servers running on the discord um so if you need any information on those servers you can come and join us in the discord but if you just want to go and grab it and prepare for day one of the center the link will be at the top of the description and obviously when you use my code and my link it supports me so thank you guys for that anyway guys let's move on into some next center news now if you guys remember we talked about this briefly in yesterday's video with the full interview from Jeremy, the, the co-founder of Wildcard. Um, and uh, they said a while back saying, mark your calendars because on June, this time it was third, but it's now fourth. We're releasing the center with the Shastasaurus. This free expansion is like a whole new arc, double the size of the island, that gorgeous fantasy fill and tons of new surprises for you to uncover. And then they said um, some other people will be diving into, well, they've currently been diving into the upcoming free aberration expansion, but the main force is powering through to bring you the epicness of the center on June 4th. Then they went on to say, we can't spoil all the fun just yet, but know that even more exciting developments are cooking for the update. Your arc adventures are about to get a whole lot wilder. People have been asking for a while, what is these new exciting developments? Now, in the new interview from Jeremy and with um, um, WCF Tech um, and also uh, one of the Curse Forge creators, um, they went on to say some Ark Survival Ascended fans may be wary of this initiative and fear it could take much of your time of your schedule to make official content and how would you respond to that concern and this is because they went into a full interview talking about the future of modding and how arc survival ascended is benefiting from it so much and jeremy say the good news is that we have a very large team that cannot be all orientated around mods the content team at the end of the day is there to make internal content for arc the team associated with the support of mods, mods is primarily technical and all of the artists, all of the level designers and animators are here to make internal official content, so to speak. 
So that's what we're doing. We have a big map release coming out in a couple of weeks. Well, it's five days because um, this interview is probably, I mean, this went out three days ago, but it was probably recorded a couple of weeks ago. That includes new creatures and some new gameplay. And we have a few surprises related to down that related to that down the official channel. So one thing is very interesting here is we know we're getting the Shastasaurus, um, which was over here. But in this, Jeremy says new creatures and some new gameplay. We have no idea what other creatures could be coming to the center. But by the looks of things, we could be getting some surprises on another new creature or more and whole new gameplay. I don't know how this is going to work. I have no idea what they're doing. The Ark Survival Ascended game as a whole seems to be changing lots for our every and new decisions keep getting made for our every DLC. We always get told the kind of idea of what's coming. And then when it actually launches, I mean, we got told Scorched Earth was coming, but we had no idea the Oasis or was even a thing. Um, so, yeah, very, very interesting stuff there. And I'm excited to see what is these new creatures and the new gameplay. Um, and then obviously if you guys want to have a little bit of a recap of how the Shastasaurus saddle is going to be working so they say with the launch of the center map just around the corner on June 4th we wanted to share some insight about the Shastasaurus and how its design evolved during the pr development process the Shasta and namely its saddle is one of the more ambitious designs we've done and the team really enjoyed the challenge so they said the two key areas we ha uh, had to resolve related to making sure the saddle actually functioned like a submarine, i.e. keeping water out while the creature moves, and how the players and creatures moved inside the sub itself. The first challenge required both a shift in the overall design of the saddle and tech solution, as we learned pretty quickly that having it on top of the creature wasn't going to be viable. So we had to redesign it to be under the Shasta instead. This change allowed us to ensure um, that we could keep the water outside of the saddle at all times and also eliminated the edge cases related to the submarine being uh, uh, partially submerged. Tackling play and creature movement was purely a technology driven solution. We wrote some of the basing code, the logic that relates to what creatures are standing and um, based on of Unreal. Uh, when in different physics modes like falling, jumping, and essentially creating a new basing system specifically when based inside of the new saddle. This was definitely one of the more challenging creatures we've designed, so please excuse us for geeking out a little bit. So now you've heard the ins and outs of how we tame the mighty Shastasaurus and its sub-aquatic mode, it's your turn next. We can't wait to see you all cruising the seas in Shasta style on June 4th. And then obviously this is the image that came with it, which shows the Shastasaurus submarine saddle on the bottom of the Shastasaurus. With, as you can see, there's actually a Therizino inside it. So you can take your dinos down into the submerged submarine and seem to control it from there. It's going to be a whole new design. And this is actually people inside um, their, their Shasta uh, submarine as well. So I think that's going to really add a whole new thing to Ark. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how that is played um, throughout the game. So yeah, that is going to be fantastic. And to round off the video, guys, there was a new patch that went out a couple of days ago. Just to let you guys know, uh, they fixed a rare server crash when a player joins. Fixed a server crash that could occur when putting a dino into a cryopod. Fixed a server crash that could occur when doing whistle commands. And fixed a couple other crashes in low level systems. Alongside fixed server crashes related to the tech cave, deferred movement and logging processes. So ARC players, are you ready? June 4th is going to be a massive, massive day and I cannot wait for it. And something I've prepared for as well is I will be on holiday like I mentioned, but I'm bringing a kind of mini setup with me for the launch of the center on June 4th. So it's going to be a fun, fun day. Go grab yourself a server to get yourself 10% off using the code Alliance10. Um, link will be in the description down below. And guys, let's go have some fun.